Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a love reading for Virgo. I hope you guys are all well. You can see I have the transformations card here. This is transformations in your love life Virgo. What is transforming in the love lives of Virgo? Does Virgo need to know? Clarity for Virgo, please. Virgo, clear messages and guidance regarding transformations in your love life. What's transforming for Virgos? Love life. What do they need to know? Ah, we have Seven of Cups. Some of you may have lots of options. Could be dating a lot of people. I feel you may have met somebody new. Or you maybe have, you may have someone here, you may be making a choice maybe to reach out. Uh, could be a date, an event, something starting. Some of you may have somebody new, uh, but you may have other options as well. Yeah, you're shining a light on a situation or this is somebody coming towards you, making a decision, seeing the possibilities. Someone may be wanting to know if you're seeing anybody else. They could be checking you out on social media or they could be in your same social circle, same community. Something is being exposed here. Something is coming to light. Someone's looking for answers. They want to know if you have other, if you're dating somebody else, if you're seeing someone. Yeah, this is about success, some kind of journey. Someone's making a decision. They're on this little journey here, looking for clues, looking for answers, looking for some kind of clarity, shining a light. Someone doesn't know something. They want to know. I think you've got someone who wants to know whether you're seeing someone. Okay. Maybe talking to your friends or family or checking you out on social media. Tell me about transformations for Virgo. Virgo. Does Virgo need to know? So I feel a little bit of a pause here. Someone's in, the, you know, that Pisces energy. Someone's going within looking for answers. They're kind of taking a pause, a little introspection about success, about victory. Someone may have had a false victory. Some of you may be getting attention from a lot of people. You may be looking at offers, options, okay, from a different perspective. This is a change of perspective by going within to do with success, to do with victory, some kind of travel, some kind of uh, movement forward. Let's see where this is headed. Some of you could be going out, dating people, dressing for success. You may be looking at things different, how you're even dressing when you go out to meet people. But I feel that introspection to gain that clarity, to do with something new, to ex could be yourself expressing yourself to someone starting something, or you have somebody who's coming in. You may be looking at this person from a different angle, looking to see if they're uh, successful if this you know kind of looking for answers here shining a light on whether this can be successful you may be kind of you know looking at things from a different perspective different angle trying to figure out if this is something that will uh, move forward successfully or not okay I see that energy some of you may have a few options that you may be wanting to start something with or it's like I say vice versa so yeah I see that devil may care <laughs> Capricorn energy tower moment Oops, let me turn these back the way they belong i messed them up virgo all right give these a quick shuffle transformations for virgo does virgo need to know clarity please for virgo there we go okay so yeah i feel like there's a tower moment some kind of aha moment or there's something Something has happened here. Someone has turned their back, and I feel there is something to do with, uh, this is my devil may care. Somebody may be acting like they don't care. It could be a Capricorn, or someone may, there may be some kind of obsession with money, success, finances. Uh, there's an ending to something unhealthy. Some of you may be ending a toxic relationship or somebody else's, and there's this tower moment. There's two people not talking. There's a lack of reciprocity, okay? But it's also about giving, sharing, you know, someone is changing their perspective. Uh, if you've got people coming towards you because you're successful and they're chasing you, you may be looking at things differently now. You may be acting like you don't care. This could be yourself or you're shining a light on a situation. You see in some, some kind of options or possibilities. Maybe you feel like someone is just coming towards you for attention or tr chasing you for, you know, money, things like that. Success, I see 
financial success as well. You got that Capricorn. This is someone who's, there's something toxic, maybe even a karmic energy. This is something unhealthy. Some sort of aha moment about this lack of giving and receiving here. There's some kind of maybe obsession. Someone may be obsessed with you and acting like they don't care. You may be having an aha moment. <laughs> Let's see where this goes, Virgo. <laughs> Seven of Cups. Why is this here? It's sort of fantasizing. Options, looking at options, making a decision. Maybe a little confusing. There's a need for more clarity. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Yeah, so look at that. Yeah, we have a couple of people here. You may have a choice between a couple people. Ah, oh, there's that. You may have some Pisces in your chart, or there's someone here that's Pisces that's kind of, you know, going within a little bit of a pause. You may have a, you may be dating a couple people, or you have a couple people here uh, that you have a connection with. Yeah, and I feel like you're, you know, there's this pause going within to look at this from a different angle. There's some kind of a connection here. Maybe you're starting to see things different. You're starting to see the possibilities of a situation. There's, yeah, I do. Yeah, look at that. Pulling back, looking at things different, seeing someone different. Maybe it's yourself doing something different, or you have someone who's your different than your usual type. Somebody may not be chasing you. Maybe you're used to being chased and someone's not chasing you, or you're, you know, you're doing things different. You're not chasing. As you want this person to start things, something needs to be illuminated. I can see the energy through this introspection. Could be you and this person. You could both have some Pisces in your chart. But this is that introspection of, to do with this commitment. This is the soulmate connection. I think what we have is two people who see the possibilities, two people who are fantasizing. Somebody's acting like they don't care, but they do. Uh, I see the aha moment, but I see the tower coming down here. As the two people have stopped talking. Yeah, see, look what just came out when I said that. Yeah, there's a new beginning here. I see that clarity is going to come within here. Somebody is coming in to express themselves. They want to reach out. But that's what I feel. There's been a lack of that, lack of this new beginning, this clarity. Because somebody's not giving. They're not, uh, you know, they're not giving. They're not sharing, uh, divulging information. So there's a need for more information, more clarity. Yeah, just, I feel like there's a lot of, up in the head energy here but i feel with this temp uh, definitely some sad look how that came together sagittarius energy somebody who's maybe on a dating site or meeting a lot of people in their community there could be some kind of gossip it feels positive though like i feel like someone's changing their perspective they're looking back and seeing something different to do with this success to do with this victory to do with um this forward movement it's a six there may have been a false victory maybe the way somebody approached something or they're thinking about approaching wanting to have this success with you i see a decision being made yeah someone is releasing something it could be a little bit of ego letting it go uh making a decision to move forward successfully to look at options or possibilities some of you might be thinking going off an adventure in love trying something different releasing something through looking at you might be letting go of somebody, moving towards someone. It could be a reconciliation for some, but it's also releasing. I always see this as a healing. It's a judgment to express. Somebody needs to express themselves. They need to open up. Something needs to be illuminated and brought to the surface. Yeah, we've got a crush. Some of you may be ending something with someone, crushing on someone else, and you may be making a decision. This is about keeping things simple. It's about sweet feelings and memories. It's about um, creating memories as well. It's about doing sweet things. It's about get, giving and receiving, uh, doing nice things for each other. Maybe it's a decision you're making or somebody is making that to do with you. I see a Libra energy here as well. Yeah, you got someone here who's got some remorse and regrets because of something that happened in the past. They need to let it go. Whether it has to do with you or it's yourself as well, it might not have anything to do with the two of you. But I see two people here. Yeah, so I do feel there's someone who's trying to figure something out. Someone may have felt somebody was a little bit of a player or being kind of sneaky. There may have been some kind of rejection. Or someone's just not sure they need to figure something out. Maybe you have a couple people coming towards you and you're trying to make a decision whether you should reject somebody if they're being sneaky or... Yeah, but I feel that little bit of stuck energy, kind of not so sure. Maybe you have something you need to figure out or you, 
you know, you're rejecting someone who you think might be a player just coming in looking for attention. Okay. Somebody whose egos, you know, somebody with a bit of an ego. Now, the egos, you know, there's a healthy ego as well. There's this balance. Everybody needs to have a little bit of ego. But I feel there's this, you know, that tempering the ego. It's tempering the passions, being patient, tempering the words, looking at things from another angle. So I feel as if you have a couple people around you. You may have someone you may uh, be rejecting. Or maybe you reject somebody, rejected somebody or vice versa. And there's some kind of regrets or just a lot of worry here that needs to be released. And so I feel there's something to do with the past, whether it's yourself with somebody from the past. And you're kind of doing a little introspection here or it's the person. It's hard to say at this point. Definitely flip it however it suits you. Tell me about this page of swords. Yeah, so there's something here to do with justice and balance, doing things right. It's commitment. It's marriage. It's about having success. Balancing head over heart. It's about, yeah, someone's trying to figure something out about whether someone is right for them. You're trying to figure out who's right for you. <laughs> or someone is trying to figure out if you're right for them. But I feel there's that. Someone, get, someone gets a lot of attention here. They need to temper that. Looking at things different to do with success, though. Yeah, you may be changing how you see somebody here. You may have a karmic situation that needs to end. You might be kind of going, ah, oh, it's time to let go, time for something new. But there's this, there needs to be the reciprocity, equal give and take. I feel like two people aren't talking. But I think someone's going to reach out here. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Why is this here? Yeah, see, someone was unable to make a decision. You see, a win or lose decision. Uh, there's some kind of aha moment. There's some kind of truth. Some of you aren't seeing that truth. You're not seeing the success here. Maybe the ego's getting in the way or it's this person. Yeah, there it is. Someone was focused on themselves here. There's a truth. Somebody wasn't seeing it or there was some indecision to do with it because someone was focused on themselves, their own success. But I feel there's something positive in this. And what I see is somebody becoming more enthusiastic. I see some kind of communication where somebody kind of comes in, but they're focused on themselves a little bit here. Maybe they talk about themselves a lot. I don't know, but there's an indecision. This is a not seeing something. Somebody wasn't seeing something and they've gone within and they're now seeing things different from a different perspective. So that's an interesting energy. Tell me, yeah, it's change of perspective, change of approach. It doesn't have to be anything major or drastic. It's, you know, it's a, it looks like a person's thought process here. You know, a little stress, a little worry about being rejected. Someone's trying to figure out their feelings, emotions, or figure out... You know, I feel like you got someone who's crushing and they're trying to, you know, they're really, they want to win. This is someone who wants to win. And this is someone who does not like to lose. A little bit of ego, definitely. Maybe a little bit of arrogance or something here. But uh, there's some sort of a rejection. But this is that unsure. Somebody's not sure about something. Maybe... Maybe someone's rejected you and you're trying to figure out why or, you know, trying to fix the situation to do with a rejected energy or just not sure. It's time to figure out. Maybe you're trying to figure out your feelings and you're not sure. You may have a choice. You may have had a, have a choice between a couple of people. You want somebody who, where there's a lot of chemistry, like there's balance between two. It's about tempering it. I think something needs tempering here. There's a need for patience, a need for balance, head over heart. Could be a reunion or a reconciliation, definitely, for some of you. Uh, maybe a little player energy where someone just sort of likes a lot of attention. They like to be indulged. Maybe there's someone who's not chasing you or you're not chasing someone and they're trying to figure out why. <laughs> Feeling a little rejected, maybe. We have, yeah, so three of cups energy. So I feel like there's this, someone is looking at things from a different perspective, going within, definitely a little bit of a pause. Uh, some of you have put your dating dating on pause. You're trying to make a choice between two people or somebody else is with you. But I feel as though we have this, there's something positive, like I can feel the transformation, something about something being just right. 
Someone's trying to figure out who's the right person, who's, you know, the person that fits in their life, someone who brings balance in their life. You may have somebody who's younger, maybe a little immature. I see this win or lose. Somebody here has got a win or lose energy. They're something they're not seeing. And it has to do with that three of cups. Family, friends, maybe you travel in the same social circle. Someone is, wants to approach you. Maybe you have people around you all the time. But there's a there's still that enthusiasm. So it's somebody who kind of thinks on the on the bright side as well. Regardless of the energy. Yeah, we have three of pentacles. Teamwork, cooperation, compromise going off on that path. I feel like we have um, hmm, Capricorn energy. It's obsession. Leaving something behind. Maybe a karmic situation or an unhealthy uh, relationship. Habit. Habit habit or pattern to go down this path to do with cooperation it's also about compatibility now, it's two people who I, I feel like we've got there's money here two people who are kind of obsessed with money uh, two people who are creative that are actually very much the same somebody's acting like they don't care though that's my devil may care someone acts like they don't care but they do and there's the aha moment and the tower is coming down because of it so let's see, but this could be a surprise. Yeah, we've got someone here who's figuring out their feelings, their emotions. Someone who's a little cautious. They're trying to make a balance, a head over heart decision. So I feel like it's more for most of you. It's just a decision to open up, to express themselves, to reach out. But someone's cautious. They're only giving a little bit because they're not sure if they're going to be rejected. This is someone who does not like rejection, okay? <laughs> that ego doesn't like the rejection. So we have that three of pentacles going off on this path. Teamwork, cooperation, compromise, compatibility. You both may have something in common. You could be obsessed with each other, obsessed with money. <laughs> you both could have in common. You've had unhealthy situations or relationships in the past as well. But you see someone turning their back. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be you, could be them. I see a little Leo energy here. Someone's ready to reach out. But there's a need for this reciprocity. I feel like what's happened is you got someone who may have been rejected because they were trying to figure out if someone had feelings for them and their ego got in the way. They were trying to get someone to chase them to share their feelings. They're going to come back around and share those feelings, but they are a bit cautious. This is someone who's cautious about sharing their emotions, but they're coming in very suddenly. Someone's figuring out their feelings and they're... I, I feel like this person, there's a lot of uh, love and emotion here. It needs to be expressed. There's something to do with a foundation, a house, a home, a family, a commitment, uh, two people reciprocating. Tell me about this four of wands. Whoops. Tell me about this four of wands. Why is this here? Clarity, please. Just one. So we got someone who's looking for clarity and answer. Somebody is holding back. Uh, they need more clarity. They're being cautious about what's being exposed, expressed to start something new. So I feel like what you have is someone who's sort of on that little journey of you know, taking a look um, at the people they're dating, putting their dating life on pause to make a choice, okay, to make this decision. A little bit of a journey here, going off on that journey towards love is what I'm seeing. Starting something new, uh, building a foundation. The foundation is down, come down. Uh, it's about rebuilding new, going off on a new path with someone more compatible. Two people who, I feel like there's some obsession or just moving off on a new path away from toxic, unhealthy situations and relationships. Yeah, somebody here, yeah. We got someone here who's not sure if someone is single. We got someone who sticks to themselves. They have a tendency to keep things to themselves. Someone who lives alone. So it's a decision here as well about uh, giving up that single life. Someone's not sure yet, but they're they're definitely figuring out their feelings. Okay, they're worried about rejection. So you may have a person who wants to come in and offer that, uh, but they have a tendency to keep things to themselves. It's someone who's single. Make sure they tell you the truth. Make sure you get the whole truth, and they don't hold back. They actually just want to stay single. They want love. They want that attention but they actually just want to be single. So I'd be a little careful, but I feel like it's more about the decision of giving up the single life, ending something here, 
Some of you may have been in a lot of unhealthy situations, toxic relationships. It's time for a new path with someone more compatible. It's about two people who build each other up, not tear each other down. And that's something here I feel that someone is looking at uh, in regards to you or it's yourself towards this person. Um, someone wants to know if someone is single or in a relationship or it's trying to figure out if they want to be single, if they should reach out, how much they want to give. You got someone who's cautious, right? That's six, just a little breadcrumbing, reach out. Uh, it's tempting, sort of testing somebody to see how they react. There's a need for clarity about this being single. There's a need for some kind of communication, some kind of truth within oneself here. Wow, let me just see what this transformation is. I feel like the transformation is about someone's trying to figure out if they want to you know, be married or commit or who's the right person or what's the right decision to make here to do with justice. Something, Somebody here is just right, somebody isn't just right, okay? It's about that being someone being a good fit. It's about coming in right, doing things the right way. Commitment to that path, teaming up with somebody cooperating wow tell me about transformation yeah it's definitely transform i can see that the energy is transforming with this person ready to express themselves to start to build this foundation uh, it, it's positive there's some kind of uh, celebration but there's a lot i wonder if you and another person are going to end up at the same uh, event and this person's going to want to approach you and they're holding back looking at you from a different perspective and angle maybe they want to approach and they can't because you got people around you all the time so they're lacking clarity they don't know if you got people around you if you're single or not that's what i feel they're not clear if you're actually single I've got someone here i feel that spends a lot of time alone Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Sag. Wow, there's a lot of energy. A lot of Libra energy here. Yeah, so here we got two single people coming together to build each other up. Two people who have each other's backs, have each other's best interests. Make sure this person has your best interest at heart. Okay, they want to build. Everything needs to be illuminated out in the open. That they don't just breadcrumb. Make sure they're giving you everything, okay, that you need to know. This is someone who generally sticks to themselves, very private. Someone may want to know if you're single or if you're in a relationship. But this is about someone having your best interest, having your back. Two people building a legacy together. So there's definitely a, a transition of someone setting themselves free from someone who's not right, moving towards somebody who is, uh, leaving a unhealthy patterns, toxic energy, bad relationship behind. Yeah, see, look at that. Yeah, we have an emperor energy, someone who definitely knows what they want here. Someone's ready to go off on this path. A little bit of Aries, Taurus. Someone's got some very strong boundaries here as well about this path, about teamwork, cooperation, and compromise, building something. Someone knows what they want now. They figured out their feelings. But make sure that they do. Make sure they tell you the whole story. They're not holding back. So someone who may be financially stable, they have everything they need, they may be holding that back, not telling you because they want to make sure that you're coming after them for the right reasons. Okay, make sure they're focused on you for the right reasons, vice versa. Tell me about transformation. I see two single people who are financially stable, focused on money, very creative. Um, going off on this path together something is building now we have someone who knows exactly what they want and they're not afraid to go after it but they are cautious with their emotions tell me about transformation yeah see there was somebody there was some kind of lack of trust in the situation here someone lost control of a situation you may have rejected someone because they were a player or they were being sneaky you didn't trust them uh, maybe if you reach out to them you're afraid they're going to reject you but I see the trust issues. There's a transformation to do with trust. It's about taking the things that resonate, leaving the rest behind. And that's the readings telling you that as well. <laughs> You're on your own path here. It's a figuring out what you want as well. You may be this emperor energy yourself. You want, you know, it's about this path. It's about two people building each other up. It's creativity. It's somebody very logical. I see there's a balance and head over heart here as well. It's a very big decision someone's making. 
It's about releasing something. You may have a new crush. You may be leaving someone behind and going through a healing and ready. You may have a new crush, but maybe you're, you know, you're worried about being rejected by someone. Um, someone has some remorse or reject, you know, regret or a little stress or worry about being rejected. Their ego can't handle it. <laughs> yeah, you just go off on that path. You just let it go. Tell me more about this Five of Swords. Yeah, someone's ego's taking a bit of a beating here. Yeah, some regret and remorse here. Someone has some regret and remorse or they feel there's some negative energy they need to release. This is what's transforming is looking at the negative, not looking at that two of cups. You see, someone's looking at things from a different angle, a different perspective towards a connection. Uh, soulmate connection here could be you this could be a friend or someone you may be wanting to take things to another level you may be fantasizing kind of wondering the possibilities of having success you might be tempering down that you know need to rush towards uh, i feel like there's a need for patience though about setting yourself free uh, you know watch that uh watch the gossip things like that someone here who's just right somebody who isn't That's what I feel is going on here. So I do feel the end game is definitely two people who have each other's backs. But there's a need for that clarity. It needs to come out. There is a need for something to be communicated. Someone's needing more clarity, whether someone is single or in a commitment. And then we have the chariot moving towards success. So I feel as though you're moving away from something due to someone's lack of clarity and moving towards someone financially stable, someone who has your back that you can rely on, you see. And I feel they're looking for the same thing. Let's see what the outcome is with the chariot. Taking control, moving towards success, financial success. Someone didn't tell you they were financially successful. They kept it to themselves. Yeah, this is about being open. There's an eight. There's a lot of abundance flowing. I see success financially as well as two people having success together by expressing themselves, illumining everything, uh, reciprocating equally, exchanging. What is the outcome for Virgo? Yeah, there's something successful here. I feel like this is about being open expressing yourself or this person coming towards you and i feel like you're ready for this i see this moving quite quickly towards some kind of commitment or a solid foundation between two people we'll see how that goes it could go either way i'm not going to say you're going to get married or uh, engaged right away or anything like that but it's about justice balance commitment marriage about doing things right somebody's looking for answers to do with that whether you're married you may have people around you all the time they don't know if you're married or not they want to approach this is someone who's kind of you know used to getting what they want <laughs> they may be very obsessed with getting what they want very financially oriented and i feel like both of you are so, very nice yeah so there's someone planning here to take action you see so this person's planning to take action they're making this this plan to move forward they're working very hard at something very very focused almost obsessed with this emperor energy moving you know this is someone who knows exactly what they want they're not afraid to go after it so i see travel and movement so i feel some of you are planning to move away from something you may be planning a trip as well travel going to see somebody uh, but I see taking the things that you learn and moving forward, leaving the baggage behind, uh, making plans for the future. So this is really nice energy. I like the flow. I like the transformation because you're going to move away from this energy or this person is to do with trust issues. Someone regrets not trusting somebody, this connection. Someone didn't see what they had. Okay, right there. They weren't seeing it. They were too focused on themselves. There's some kind of truth and success, victory here to do with the ego. Someone's ego got in the way. But it's a win or lose situation, and I feel like it's very positive energy. Uh, making a decision, someone was unable. They didn't see what they had right in front of them. So very nice. All right, Virgo, I wish you the best. Take care on this journey. Take the things that you learned from the past and move forward. I feel like you're moving forward towards someone. You're leaving the baggage behind, you know, or someone is to do with this planning to take action. This is someone who now knows what they want. So I like that. All right, take care and we'll see you soon.